Yo, what's going on guys? Shake and Bake back, baby. I'm excited for today because we got a new card for one. If you've seen, you follow me on Twitter, you might have already seen. And there's a whole bunch of new cards on my team. The NBA Finals have concluded. They ended last night. So let's check out those new cards. But uh, first, let me show you guys who I got in my my team. We come over to the auction. Out comes up at the bottom. You see it. Diamond LeBron James, man. 98 overall. Super nice card, man. I got it for a pretty good price. 760000 I know, pretty good. But he was going for like 1.1 just two three days ago so that's not bad definitely not uh, i do want to check to see what he's going for now if his price come back up a little bit or if it's still around six seven hundred there was a couple up for actually more than uh that price so i i got pretty lucky man i don't know i, I got it right at the end and you guys can see right now if we check the market 764 i got mine for 762 i think it was i just said so uh yeah it's actually uh still going for about that same price there's a decent amount of them up not too many nothing too crazy but uh yeah we have this diamond lebron james you haven't seen the video where i checked him out and went over his stats be sure to check out that video i'll try and link it at the end but um yeah it's a beastly car we don't need to check the stats but i will have gameplay coming for you guys soon if you want it today let's smash that like button man let's get 3,000 likes in this video and i'm gonna get y'all some lebron probably on the god squad gameplay but let's check out some of the new cards we'll check out first my boy kevin durant not my boy but i do i do like him uh i don't know as much as i want to hate him again because I, I hate how he went to the warriors but uh my goodness the dude is absolute monster and honestly i think he's the best player in the world right now i've said this uh i've said it multiple times i know lebron james had an incredible finals in the warriors i don't know if i've said this yet did win they, they won last night the game game five but this man, Kevin Durant, unreal. He damn near shots 50% from the uh, three-point line. Like, that's insane. And they were contested shots, too, like crazy. And he took over and won them the game last night. I think he went, had 39 or something. LeBron had 41 and then a triple-double. But, uh, yeah, man, this man, Kevin Durant, he came up clutch, too. Like, I don't know. I just think he's the best player right now. And, again, that could change at the beginning of next season. But for right now in this finals, I think he proved it, man, that he is one of the best players in the NBA and, if not the best player in the NBA. So, yeah, and... Uh, the NBA is definitely better than most basketball leagues out there, so definitely best in the world by that. But, yeah, this uh, Durant card looks pretty sweet, man. I am psyched. As you guys can see, though, he's going for a ton on the market. He doesn't actually, like, have too much of a change when we compare him to, of course, the other Kevin Durant, which I have. Both 99 on offense and then 98 on defense. So his defense does go up a ton. Still 6'9 instead of, like, 6'11, which he should be. But he does come with 10 freaking uh, Hall of Fame badges. That is the big difference here. Instead of just mid-range dead eye, he gets deep range dead eye, limitless range, Hall of Fame, uh, difficult shots, tie with score, which is a big one, pick up a minus two, catch and shoot. So he should really shoot crazy percentages, because I already shoot with this one, 65 and 55, so that card might shoot 75 and uh, 65, which is insane. Absolutely crazy. So, really nice stuff. We check out stats, a little bit of post-game better. I do have a diamond shoe, I think, on this one right here. Uh, so, yeah, he does have a little bit better in a couple of those categories. The draw foul, the shot close, and then the speed ball. And then you guys check out the rest of the stats. It might not even be diamond. I'm not sure. I don't. I have I actually no clue. Um, it might be diamond, though, because I did really like the card and still do. He's still in my lineup. But then checking out the rest of the stats, he gets a couple of boosts to the shooting, but I, I really don't think there's a problem with that. Like, I, I don't know if you could actually shoot better than I do with this card. But, um, I mean, that, that Hall of Fame limitless range is definitely a major key. So check out the stats. They're pretty beastly. A little bit better rebounding. Defensively goes up a bunch, which is nice, but... I didn't think this card that was that bad on defense. And then uh, you guys can see his speed goes up. Speed with ball is only plus one because I have the shoe on him again. So it is really not that much of a change between these two cards. Besides the Hall of Fame badges, I'm not paying one million MT for nine extra Hall of Fame badges. Especially when I feel like the, the other Durant plays so good. But uh, eventually I'll probably pick up this card and upgrade. But for now, pfft no reason to um we'll check out the steph curry he did get an upgrade so did kyrie irving we'll check out that card last but then there is one card i will say that i do want to scoop and we'll check that card in a minute but yeah if you bought the 95 curry and still have him to this point you definitely uh, got screwed you should have sold him so you guys can see right here the 95s and there is a 98 overall one going for 600k and these ones man are gonna be down to yeah about 200k it looks like so the, that price will be much cheaper. 95 will be much easier to grab and get onto. And even Clay Thompson's price has come down a bit. But we can check out his stats comparing him to Jerry West. And look at that. Nine Hall of Fame badges. Super nice. Obviously, 99 on offense, 98 on defense. He's going to have beastly stats, man. And, I mean, yeah, compared to the pink diamond, and he's still better than him in, in most categories. So that's pretty crazy. And he does have decent rebounding at 68, offensive and 82, because he averaged 
Like, nine rebounds a game for the series, man. He was beasted. That was the uh, unanimous MVP card. We saw him, and uh, that's not really... We didn't really see him uh, last year because of the ankle injury, probably. But, man, he was so damn good in the finals. I actually missed last night's game, man. I came home from a, my home inspection, and I slept. I literally, like, 20 minutes before the tip-off... I lied down really quickly right before I was about to turn on the TV and I fell asleep and woke up in the middle of the night and was like, bruh. But um, yeah, you guys can see the stats are pretty nice. Got a boost to vertical and a whole bunch of other things. So that card's definitely a beast. Uh, will I pick him up? Probably. But I got to build some MT back up for sure after I just bought that LeBron James card. Let's check out probably what is going to be my favorite card out of all these new ones that have been added. And that's actually Draymond Green because he didn't have an Amethyst, I don't think. He might have. Maybe he didn't. No, I think he only has a Ruby. So Draymond Green got a Diamond. It's going for about 200k. And this is a card I'm definitely going to pick up because... I love my Draymond Green cards. I always have. Last year, his card was nice. The year before that, I think, was really nice as well. But I know he had some nice... Yeah, he, he's always had some nice ones, man. And his diamonds play beastly. So I love that. Five Hall of Fame badge, which are nice ones. Rim Protector, Charge Card, uh, Defensive Stopper, and Lob City Passer. Flash Passer, I don't really use at all, as I said. But beastly card, six foot seven. He's going to be able to shoot the basketball. We probably shouldn't compare him to Kevin Love. I think I have the other Draymond Green, if I'm not mistaken. We can compare him to, I guess, this free agent one or something. I don't even know, but the, the boosts are incredible. Look at his mid-range. Look at his three ball. A 93. That's insane. He's got 86 ball control, which is good. Passing is 95, 98. Great rebounding. Look at the defense. 98 on the defense parts. My goodness, he is a crazy beastly defender. And then 88 speed, which is pretty good for Dre. So this card is out there. I will definitely be picking this card up as soon as possible, man. So uh, yeah, I did see him go for, I think, 190 earlier. But now he's looking like 220. So hopefully his price comes down. Or hey, even we pull him. I mean, we have freaking 1.1 million MT. We're going to rip these packs in just a second. Yeah, I know this is kind of a longer intro than I usually do. But um, yeah, I did want to uh, just, you know, break it down, show you guys all these new cards. And uh, yeah, then we'll get into the pack. So this is a long video. Stay tuned. But here you guys can see the 97 Kyrie Irving. There is the 94 as well, still in packs. And these are both in the playoff packs, wearing the black jerseys. It's got the same picture from the Kyrie last year. I pulled that Kyrie last year. Can we pull this one this year? Honestly, I, I really don't even want him because I have the other Kyrie. Like we just got the other one for free. So I definitely won't be picking up this card unless I pull him. And if I pull him... Probably use him and then sell him. Like, the difference really can't be that much. Look at that. He only goes up plus one on defense compared to the 95 overall that you get for the uh, cover vote. It, cover version. Not cover vote. But there it is. You guys can see the stats, the upgrades really quickly. A couple plus ones here and there. A little bit better passer, but really not much change as you guys can see. Um, yeah, upgrading to this card. I think he might, maybe has more Hall of Fame badges. Only two more badges. So, yeah, the uh, upgrade here, nothing too crazy. Doesn't even have Hall of Fame Limitless. But he does have Catch and Shoot and Acrobat, which I guess... No, he has Acrobat already. So what's the extra one? Teardropper, Deep Range, Mid Range, Ankle Breaker. The extra one would be Catch and Shoot and something else. Tireless Score, I think. So Tireless Score and uh, Catch and Shoot would be the extra one, which are pretty good actual badges. Those are nice. Tireless Score is a beast. So it's a good card again, but I'm not going to be going for too much probably because of this card, which is under 100k. And the other version, which some people got. Not a lot, though. Definitely not. But... A beastly card right there. And that was the last of the new updates. We did not get a new LeBron James 99, 98. No pink diamonds. Let's just jump right into the packs, man. No time to waste. Uh, playoff boxes. They were on sale. They are no longer on sale, I don't think. Uh, they weren't on sale on the boxes. It was the packs. And yeah, it looks like they're back to full price. But let's hop into these bad boys. Let's rip. We can uh, talk a little bit of basketball again. I, I did not... I did not watch last game, night's game live. I watched a little bit of a replay, and I watched highlights, and I watched a whole lot of post-press uh, game, everything like that, when they were talking to just, you know, the freaking media guys, stuff like that, and the celebration, which was cool. But yeah, it was nice to see Kevin Durant win his ring. Uh, again, I think I, I wanted them to win. I think I called Warriors in seven, I think? I don't remember, man. I thought this series would go a bit further, and honestly, um, yeah, even last night, like, watching it back a little bit, they were uh, looking like this game might be in the Cavs' favor. Cavs were winning, and then the Warriors just kicked it into a freaking new gear. And uh, Kevin Durant and Steph Curry, man, unreal. They're so good. It's crazy how good those two basketball players are and what a duo. That, that might be one of the best duos. Crazy thing about in NBA history. Like, that's insane. So, uh, again, they just uh, dismantled LeBron James. I mean, even though he had a great series and the Cavaliers, they did lose in five games in the end. And, yeah, that means you, you really kind of got worked. Again, almost a sweep, but they... 
they held their home court for that one game and, uh, yeah, had a good one. And Tristan Thompson, man, a lot of people, Cavs fans, are probably looking at him like, is he worth the money? Do we got to move him? Because th this same team cannot compete with that Warriors team. I don't think any team really can, but as they only lost one game in the entire postseason, almost went undefeated. So, yeah, there is going to be a lot of changes, definitely, I'd say, to the Cavaliers roster as they retool, rebuild. Is Jared Smith going to stick around? He was actually really good in these last couple games, man. Definitely was. I thought we'd get a diamond version of him for their win the other night. We didn't. I really thought we were going to on Saturday, man. I was I was kind of bummed about that. That would have been dope. Or even if it was just like a Nuggets version. I kind of hope there's going to be some more content on 2K. But honestly, I understand if there's not going to be Zaza Pachulia right there. He was holding the flag for his country on his back. Kind of neat. Kind of cool. Ooh, I didn't tease me with them. Sapphires, fam. Stop that. But, uh, yeah, it was it was dope, man. I, I mean, again, NBA season, great season, I think, still. A lot of people didn't think the competition was there, but I still thought it was a good season, man. It was entertaining. A couple of those finals games were, were uh, really fun to watch. So, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. And, again, uh, I think Kevin Durant's on top of the NBA mountain, but it, it's definitely a loaded one up there. There is a lot of superstars and a lot of incredible players. And it's crazy to think that the, the Thunder used to have literally, like, three MVP candidates on the roster, man. And imagine if those three could still be playing together at how they play now. Imagine how good that team would be if that could work. But, man, I don't know. Maybe uh, in the future they will. Maybe they'll play in the three-on-three -three basketball. That would be really cool in the Olympics if that actually does take for the Olympics. I think they're trying to. So, hopefully it does. But, man, hopefully my pack odds get better. We have a ton of boxes we can open, man. We really do. But we, we got to get something, man. I need some diamonds. I don't need these rubies. I need some diamonds. That's what we need today. Hopefully, we can get like a diamond topper out of what, 10 boxes? I'm gonna rip all these, man. I'm gonna rip all. Last time, I was like, yeah, halfway through, we're gonna stop opening these. This time, I'm ripping all of these bad boys because there are some sweet diamonds in these packs. And that KD going for a million. James Jones right there. Man, we got some, uh, yeah, we got some ripping to do. This is gonna be a long video, as I said. And uh, maybe I'll even timestamp you if we pull that fire. Because, you know, I know y'all like to click on the timestamps, but come back and watch the video if y'all click on the timestamps, man. But definitely excited. And I think I got the tentative closing date in the house. So it's actually gonna be a bit longer than I had thought. I still got about a month out, month and a week, actually. Ah, Topper looking crappy already. Yikes, but JaVale. He tweeted out some funny stuff. He said he was the first player in the NBA with a rat tail to get a ring. I thought that was kind of funny. So it's cool to see some of these guys get rings. And I mean, uh, I was thinking about this yesterday. Andre Iguodala is having a super solid end to his career, man. Like, that man picking up another ring. He played really well last night. He had that redemption. He had a nasty dunk last night. And LeBron was just kind of sitting there watching. Not the same result as last year, man. Crazy how uh, they were on the same jerseys, too, and everything. Like, they're, it's so different a year later, man. So I, I thought that was cool, man. But uh, good good to see that on him because I'm sure that play haunts him. And I'm sure it will forever. But, uh, yeah, it's nice to see them get that back and uh, for him to at least redeem himself, I think, right there. And he was pretty good in the finals. And a lot of people were hating on him. I remember that dude, Nick Wright, who rides the Cavs. He was saying he is the least valuable player in the NBA. Bro. Ah. Uh, I think you couldn't be more wrong, man. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. I got to start ripping these packs, man. I'm going to have to quick sell. I don't have time to sell all these. This is crazy. Box number one was a dud, but we got a lot of boxes to go. I heard single packs were kind of dope with these as well. So, uh, if we're not pulling anything with these, maybe we go with some singles. I have no clue. But, yeah, we've got a lot of ripping to do today, man. There are still some things coming up NBA-wise. Of course, we get the draft in a couple weeks. And we also do have the NBA Awards show. That should be pretty cool. First time that's going to happen and. I think, I think that's going to be an annual thing as well, so that's kind of nice. I'm going to start flipping all with these packs, man. They're taking too long. <laughs> I got no patience. We're going to be sitting here for so long ripping these packs, man. My goodness. But, yeah, um, that's going to be cool, man. And it was kind of funny. This morning, Shaq tweeted out, like, his picks to all the NBA awards, and his sixth man pick was Gordon Hayward of the Utah Jazz, who has started every single game this year. I, I, except for the one he was injured in the playoffs. He did not actually know he started that, I think. But, <laughs> yeah, man. So, he started 73 out of 70. I don't know what Shaq did there. He definitely messed up. Some, someone messed up. I don't know, but that was kind of funny this morning. Twitter definitely got a kick out of that. I was laughing because I was like, what, what are you doing, Shaq? Well, besides that, his pick looks uh, pretty legit. But excited for that, man. That's going to be a nice, fun show. I think that's not this Tuesday, but it might be the Tuesday after the draft, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. these rubies, man. Boy, stop giving me the rubies. <laughs> 
<laughs> Every time he comes up, you gotta hit him with the boy. I love that. But, uh, yeah, man, we're getting a lot of rubies. It's gonna be a long one. Jalen Brown, I'm excited to see what the Celtics are gonna do, too. Now the offseason's in swing. We got Summer League coming up. And, I mean, we might also be in the NBA 2K offseason. They might have put their last few cards into the game. Who knows? I mean, I would expect that we're gonna get a player when, uh, what's it called? When the award show comes up, we might get some players that night, but... That might be it, man. I, I don't even, again, I don't even know if we're going to for that because, I mean, they really can't make a better version of some of these cards. Like, that Westbrook, I don't know if they can make a better version. That Harden, I don't know if they can make a better one. I got to pick up that 98 Harden, though. I want to try him out. I heard he gets buckets. I did pick up some other cards, too. I still have some empty. I'm going to do the Nugget Squad. I fully uh, loaded that out. I'll show you guys that at the end of this video, stuff like that, too. But yeah, and then we also do have another squad, the Mavericks. I'm ready to run with them, and I'll have to get a Heat squad going together, too. We do have Diamond Bosch and Wade and LeBron. So I don't really think I need anyone there. And we got Alonzo, Tim Hardaway. So that lineup is stacked, too. I got a lot of good ones, man. And we got that Shaq, too. We can put him on there. Yeah, so we got good stuff coming. A lot of all-time gameplay. I'm going to do some drafting plays. I'm going to try and do a finals uh, draft and play because that, I hope it's still going, even though the finals are over up on 2K Anti Central. But hopefully we can do that as well, man. Hopefully my pack odds can get better, bro. It seems like it's going to be back to the hopefully one diamond in every three boxes, man. Because if I rip more than that and don't get any diamonds, ugh. I don't know. I'm going to be salty, man. I'm just trying to get something. Even if it's a crappy diamond. Actually, never mind. Switch that up. Even if it's a good diamond. <laughs> Don't even give the pack odds an idea. Ah, but uh, yeah, two boxes down the drain. For 10 more days too, so I don't know. Maybe they're going to put something else out after. I have no clue. We really don't know. I don't think so though. I think uh, this is the last bit of content they're putting in 2K. They put them in last night. So they might be packing up and they might be working on 2K18 now, which is good and bad. I mean, I do wish we got some summer content, but I got so many cards, man. I got so many players I want to use. So I'm not too worried. I got all the content I need for uh, the next few months to do some dope videos for you guys. So uh, yeah, again, be sure to leave a like and be subscribed for some awesome freaking videos, man. And uh, hopefully some better packs. We do get the pearls. I like those. I'll take them. And uh, yeah, if, if there are cards I still need to pick up, let me know and I will go get them. Obviously, there are the new ones today. But besides that and a couple other ones, I think I got most of the cards in the game, which is dope. So I can run some crazy lineups and every kind of theme and everything over the next few months and actually play this game, which I've been enjoying recently. I really have been. Uh, again, I just my whole thing is I don't want to play it too much at one period of time because then I get burnt out. And it's always like that. It doesn't matter if it's May or freaking September. I can only play the game so much. I can only play so many games in one day, especially with this hot weather, man. Gotta rock the tank. It's hot up in here, man. It's like 95 up in this New England area. It is toasty. Definitely a hot summer day, finally. And we, we haven't had many of them, man. And when I'm recording, I can't have the air conditioner on because it's long, it, it, you know, it's loud, and the videos are long. So, uh, yeah, I don't want y'all hearing, Duh, like, the whole time. So, yeah, I gotta sweat it out. They gotta be sweaty. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. We got to rock the tanks a little bit here. We got to rock some jerseys as well. Got to get some nice new jerseys and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, the NBA Finals were good, man. I'm, I'm pumped for the rest of the uh, offseason. And Gordon Hayward recruitment, I guess, to Boston. That's probably going to be what they're trying to do, it looks like. Isaiah Thomas just followed him on Instagram. So that's kind of cool. Again, Gordon Hayward's a great player. I just don't know how much that uh, changes the Celtics or helps them. I hope it does, man. He's a great player. But I don't even know if they have a shot at him, too. Apparently, Miami might be also going after him. And obviously, Utah. So it looks like that, that might be a three-team race right there, which I hope the Celtics have a lead in. I mean, Celtics are further along than the Heat, and I think they're probably further along than the Jazz. And we got the, you know, the picks and stuff like that. So I think that, I, I mean, we got Brad Stevens. I would think they got a good bond. So I would hope we've got a good shot at landing Gordon Hayward, man. So pretty excited. But there we go. Finally, we get something. We get an end with this. And we're going to get, boom, John Wall. Okay. Probably not going to go for too much. I would love to use that Diamond John Wall still, too, man. I have not used him at all. Oh, we're getting so many rubies, man. Three boxes. We haven't gotten anything. Bruh. I mean, we got that one Amethyst John Wall, but that doesn't go for much. Again, that card came out the first freaking day, man. Holy crap. So we got a lot of packs to go, man. But so far, the odds, it doesn't look like we're getting anything, man. I got the controller down on the desk. I, I'm getting tired of holding it, man. It's been a long day. And it looks like it will be a long one. So hopefully I can get you guys that gameplay tonight. I'm going to try and use that freaking LeBron James. I really want to, man. That card's going to be beast. I don't even know what my lineup's going to look like. My lineup, I guess I'll move like Kevin Durant to the bench. I've been rocking with him in the starting line. So move to the bench. I, I love that other LeBron. So I imagine this one is going to be even better and even crazier. So I'm excited, man. Show me the honey, baby. It is nice. Joe Ingles. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. I got some other exciting news, which is pretty cool too. I announced this up on Twitter, but I'm going to be in a game. I'm actually going to be in NBA Playgrounds, man. Um, they hit me up and they put me in the game. It's pretty cool. So I will be playing that and doing some videos on that when I'm in the game, obviously, using myself. But um, obviously, uh, it's not out yet. They put a few YouTubers out, I think, in an update. And it's already came out for a couple platforms. I know you guys wanted to see some more of that. And I want to keep playing it. So I'm going to post some more of it now. But I was kind of waiting for that. It's, it was supposed to be... Uh, I was supposed to be in this update. But apparently, there was an issue there. So it might be a little bit longer. I don't know. But when that does come out, when I come out, obviously, I'm going to use me. But it's pretty cool, man. They got me looking on there. They got my, they got my 5 o'clock shadow in in the game on the character i find that so funny and like my nose they got like everything they got this little bump that i have my nose right here they have it in the game like i think that's so crazy how like how they, they actually did a really good job with that character and i ain't mean scam me nothing they just built that so that's kind of funny man and uh they watched my irl videos and i think based the stats off those so that's gonna be kind of cool i'm excited for that that's gonna be fun man i've never been in a video game like that and again i'm pretty sure anyone will be able to pull me and use me i mean Hopefully they'll they'll throw me on my own account and I don't have to pull me. I don't know how that's going to work. I might have to pull myself, man. Oh, that'd be crazy. But I'll try and see if they can, uh, I guess, put me on my account so I can play with them, obviously. But uh, that will be coming at some point. Man, we got a better chance of pulling a shake and making these packs than we do have pulling a diamond. My goodness. Another amethyst right here. That marks the third. We're getting in. Boom. Steven Jackson, man. Ugh. Why is that card still in these packs? Man, the only thing worse than uh, pulling that Steven Jackson would be if we got a diamond and we got, like, Sleepy Floyd or one of the dudes from the very beginning. That would be such a troll, man. My goodness, it is getting hot up in here. You need to show me the fire, 2K. If I pull this million and don't get a diamond, man, y'all just, just disappoint me, man. But uh, hopefully the pack odds are better for next year. In fact, I got to do a video. They actually teased at what cards are going to look like next year on the promo. They updated the uh, pre-order and stuff like that. So I got to do a video on that, break that down a little bit, show y'all what it's looking like. But um, for now, man, we continue ripping these packs. So there should be other videos coming out today and over this week, man. Definitely going to step that video grind back up. We got plenty of time. We chilling. We got another pack right here in the topper. And say no more, fam. Ruby topper on the way. James Jones, at least. So I've sell them for a little bit it's so many packs and we've yet to get anything i find the pack odds bewilderingly bad man they're so terrible in nba 2k we are 30 minutes into recording this video i don't know how many minutes y'all are in but my goodness now we ain't seen no diamond yet we just seen them crappy amethyst which i mean they cool but at the end of the day they pretty crappy don't go over much come on show me that diamond the only good thing about this is that vc was on sale thank goodness to best buy uh best buy vc's on sale if you're in us i think only but um that's kind of nice it's like 60 dollars for 100 dollars worth and then i even had some best buy points because i buy all my electronics at best buy so it was actually only like 40 dollars so that's the nice part i ended up getting like 200 dollars worth of vc for like 100 bucks that's kind of nice so that's cool um, I, I didn't spend much on this like again much i say in relative to a typical pack opening but man <laughs> it's just like a typical back opening. we ain't getting anything in any of these packs and we open in so many boxes man we're at almost like 100 packs open no diamond yet man maybe we gotta rip some singles i don't know man like we get an amethyst right there as i'm checking for the mailman and we are gonna get ourselves boom is this what we're really doing? We're going to get ourselves another Steven Jackson. We're literally opening a full box to get one Steven Jackson. Why? All this VC on packs, and then they're going to do something like boost the pack odds or something, or put out new packs. That's what they do, man. So, uh, yeah, that would be pretty frustrating, but I wouldn't even be surprised at this point with the way 2K works. But, man, uh, yeah, my pack odds are terrible right now. Like, I'm still ripping. I'm still going ham, and we still ain't pulling nothing, man. No freaking diamonds in so many packs oh my god this is absurd we're gonna get another amethyst right here once again we get michael thompson like we're getting the worst amethyst too that's the that's the worst part man getting hot too i need to turn the air conditioner back on fam i am getting hot up in here we get a diamond thank you about damn time and boom kyrie irving ah but it's the worst one <laughs> they're killing me man damn ah I guess it's better than like Steve Smith, but uh, 94 overall Kyrie Irving. We have our topper right here, but man, ah, we finally get a diamond though, which is kind of nice, but uh, of course it's not the new Kyrie Irving. 
We had to pull the 94, not the 97. Dang it, man. And I already have that card, too. So it's like, there's no point in even using that. Like, the, the 95 is literally that card, but with a couple boosts. So, uh, yeah, pretty much the same card, damn near. But uh, we do pull a diamond, finally. We pulled Kyrie Irving. Only took us six whole boxes. That can change our luck. Probably not. <laughs> Oh, man, it would be nice if we could pull some other ones, too, man. I don't know. I feel like we should have already pulled, like, three or four diamonds. And the fact that we've only pulled one, pretty shitty, but we'll keep ripping, man. I'll keep chilling here, flipping all, because, uh, hey, it's faster, you know that? <laughs> These packs take forever to open. So, we shall keep ripping. I, I, I don't even have anything else to talk about, too. Like, I've already talked about everything there is to talk about, and we're still ripping. All right, we're going to stop the recording. If that had been, like, one of those new guys, I wouldn't even be mad right now if we didn't get another diamond for the rest. But it is an older one. Ah, like, a week ago, that would have been a fire pull. And now today, it's like, damn, I don't know what I'm okay. Man. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Diamond Andre Iguodala. I kind of wish we got one of those. Like, it would have been really cool to see a finals uh, MVP set or something from... Uh, or at least a, a flashback from last year. That would have been dope. Uh, maybe we still get one and still get some content. But that would have been cool to see a uh, upgraded even further version from that new uh, Amethyst one. That would be dope. Because I do. I love the Andre Iguodala cards in 2K. I don't know. His shot's kind of iffy. But uh, I like using him, man. He's always fun to play with. But a few packs left in this next box after we pull that Kyrie. We ain't got nothing in here. More boxes left. <laughs> Unless we clutch it with a crazy lucky diamond. Yeah, the pack odds are pretty similar to how they've been recently, man. But thank goodness we do have that LeBron James we can use. And, uh, yeah, if we like him, we keep him for a little bit. If not, we sell him. And, uh, yeah, maybe we get that Dre or something. I, I, I still think I can afford the Dre now, probably. But we can get him. We get the Clay Thompson, who's around 300K now. He dropped down a whole bunch. So, actually, a lot of cards that I could pick up. And I got a little bit of MT working. We still got that Jokic, too. I could sell for about 100K and some other cards. Who are, uh, I bought the Chauncey Phillips recently for 40K. That's a, a sleeper good card. It's got six Hall of Fame badges for 40K. And they're good ones, too. So, we will have a lot of all-time gameplays coming soon. Uh, less pack openings because, A... Pack odds suck, and B, um, I'm not going to keep ripping these for the summer. Like, this is probably one of the last ones. If they don't put any up more content, I'll do a couple here and there maybe. But um, if I just have something to talk about or in the NBA or something's going down, probably after the draft or something like that, or before the draft, or if there's some free agency news. But besides that, man, pack odds are going to be uh, coming to a slowdown. And I'll do some other stuff. I'll probably do some player breakdowns of the content this year, some thoughts for next year, what they could do. Obviously, I'll be covering all the 2K news that's going to be coming out this summer and stuff like that. I'll be doing videos and that kind of stuff. But yeah, and of course, tons of my team gameplays, challenges, collabs, everything, man. And uh, yeah, and maybe even some other stuff. Obviously, IRL videos, IRL basketball, uh, maybe, maybe even some IRL meetups and playing against subscribers and things like that. So, should be some good stuff coming. Another topper right here and another Ruby player. We're uh, like 6 for 6, 7 for 7, 8 for 8, I don't even know on all them rubies but thank goodness we don't have too many more packs to open because it is hot up in here man it really is out is this 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 is this is hot my fan and myself uh i'm going delusional now from the heat this is no good this time shout out to some of y'all over on the uh what's it called over on the snapchat and on the instagram go follow me on there definitely do if you haven't and uh yeah I'm going to shout out some followers in some upcoming videos as well. You guys can send me some snaps, say what up, and uh, yeah, I'll try and screenshot them and show them to you guys on the video and give y'all some love for repping Shake Squad. In fact, another thing too, Shake Squad. <laughs> Sound funny, but I may have some merch coming out as well. A lot of people have been asking about that stuff, so maybe some tank tops, some shirts, some hoodies for the summer. Who knows? Hopefully some really cool designs if, we, if I can think of some stuff and work with some designers and stuff like that. So hopefully there should be some stuff coming soon on that front as well. Definitely be better off spending it on a shirt than you would on some packs, man. So here's the deal. We can open up two more boxes and then we can do some singles. Um, but yeah, we are pretty much almost out of MT and VC. MT, we got plenty, but VC, we are on the low low. And uh, yeah, so two more 20 boxes, 40 packs left, and then a few singles and we're out of here. But uh, it's been a solid, uh, again, I've been open for like 40 to 50 minutes. Y'all will see less. I'll cut it down for y'all. Because, I mean, y'all don't need to see these guard packs. But y'all do need to hear me talk at times. And y'all, I can't just show you the one diamond pull or whatever. The, the, the diamond pull, the amethyst. Like, nah, nah. Y'all y'all gonna watch the video. Y'all gonna listen. It's summer break. What are y'all, what, most of y'all on summer break already. If you're not, finish up your finals. Get on summer break and watch the videos. 
and of course enjoy your summer however that may be whether that's playing 2k getting outside definitely got to get outside a little bit more man i'm a little pale a little pasty got to get a little bit more of a tan but uh that's all right we got a long summer it's a long summer man you all probably can see the sweat like i am actually sweating from sitting here and uh that's gonna be the struggle of recording in the summer not having central air which is a little bit quieter and uh, just having one of these big old AC vents, but hey, it's all good. This dude, I can sell a lot of this stuff, and I've, you know, I've been selling this stuff. A lot of this stuff's been getting quick sell too. So uh, I should have a ton of contracts, shoe cards, badges, and things I can sell to make my MT up and get those last few cards for those team lineups. I'm gonna have to do another Warriors team, another, I guess, NBA Finals champion, all updated squad. But I gotta get that KD, I assume, before I do that. I mean, it wouldn't, it just wouldn't be right unless we did everyone. So uh, I'll probably get one of those eventually. I might have to sell back LeBron to get that. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to keep LeBron for a little bit, though. Like, some of these guys, I, I play a couple games with him and ship him out. That LeBron's going to stay for a little bit, I think. But Because, uh, again, the price I paid for him, it'll come down from that. But I think uh, he's probably worth that much. That, I think that's a fair price. I, I, I was going to pay a million, too. I didn't. Thank goodness. 100 and, uh, yeah, actually, we could. Oh, we can't. No, nah, we can't just do the box. We're going to have to do singles, man. Ah. But this is over a million MT so far, and we have pulled one diamond. You've got to love that. The odds are so bad, man. They turn them down. It's very obvious. That's what they do. So, yeah, definitely wouldn't recommend opening packs, man. I know. I'm frustrated. I'm, I'm not in a good mood now because the pack odds freaking suck in this game. The toppers are almost non-existent at this point, too. Barely get any rubies now, which is kind of crazy. Like uh, in the first few boxes, it was like ruby, ruby, ruby. Now it's like bronze, bronze, silver, bronze, gold, bronze, ruby, bronze, gold. <laughs> so yeah, we're not even seeing too many of the ruby cards, man. Jeez, man. Even if we do, doesn't really matter. Just getting quick sold for the most part. But um, yeah, six packs left, and then we are pretty much at an MT. I'll open up again a couple singles, but. <gasps> oh my goodness, the last topper is a diamond. Yo, I literally wasn't even looking. Yo, if they clutch this and actually give me some of decent, I'm not gonna get too excited because I don't wanna fall to the floor. We get DeAndre Jordan, see, yeah. See, I didn't wanna get too excited. We do get another diamond, which is cool, but yeah, it's DeAndre Jordan. He doesn't go for much. Um, but still, it's cool, but back odds were terrible, man. I'm not gonna cut it or short. I ain't gonna, I'm just gonna quick sell that, man. But um, we do get a, a diamond right there. Ah. Uh, Imagine if it was someone good. I always say that. But, uh, yeah, it is not. And that probably means we probably won't get anything out of these, man. But, so one in every maybe ten boxes you get a diamond topper. Gotta love that. I mean, we didn't get anything out of any of those packs. Selling all, just trying to flip through these real quickly. Open up a couple more quick packs. I think we can do, what, ten out of these? We do get ourselves an amethyst right here. If this is JR, it's our best pull. Never mind. All right, that was it. We got literally 150k MT, I think, from just quick selling. Um, this is what our dupes are. You've got to be kidding me. That's so bad. <laughs> that is so freaking bad. But, uh, we did get a couple... Again, the Kyrie Irving's a good pull. That one's not bad. Um, but the problem is I already have the 95. And I can't sell him, so I'll pretty much have to sell the 94. But we do at least have this LeBron James sitting on our account. But I did buy the Chauncey. So I got a good amount of cards. But Kyrie Irving, 94 overall. I think maybe he sells for, like, 80k, but... Again, I mean, that's a good pull. It's a good pull. It definitely is. But uh, it just doesn't have, like, crazy value to me. The Andre Jordan, I do want to try this card out, which is kind of nice. But it probably goes for, like, 20, 30K. He doesn't go for a lot, I don't think. So, pretty cool card. But, um, yeah, I guess it's better than nothing. Because <laughs> we really didn't pull much, man. We got a lot of rubies and a lot of crappy amethyst from the first set. But that is the video, man. A lot of packs down the drain. At least the uh, VC was on sale. But that's probably why the odds are so bad. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. A ton of packs down the drain. If you want to see that LeBron James gameplay, leave a like for tonight. I still got to get you guys Kyrie gameplay, so maybe I'll throw him in the lineup as well. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, the packs, and uh, things like that, man. But, uh, yeah, leave your thoughts down in the comment section. Smash that like button for, uh, yeah, more videos daily, bro. Peace. And it's lit. We got a diamond. <laughs>